For centuries, historians have argued about the location of the Land of Punt, ancient Egypt's Land of the Gods. Was it a myth or was it real? They looked for maps, but they should have looked at baboons. In 2020, scientists unlocked a geochemical GPS hidden inside the teeth of 3,000-year-old mummified baboons. And in 2025, we finally got the DNA proof that changes everything. Today, we aren't just looking at pottery shards, we are looking at the biological evidence that suggests ancient Egyptians might have come from the Horn of Africa. The origins of the ancient Egyptian civilization have fascinated historians and anthropologists for centuries. A persistent theory suggests that these pyramid builders originated from the land of Punt, located in the Horn of Africa. This idea, often called the Somali hypothesis, relies on ancient records describing Punt as the land of the gods. Scholars have long debated whether this title implies a biological homeland or merely a spiritual one. For a long time, we only had artwork and statues to guide our understanding of this relationship. The Egyptians depicted the people of Punt with reddish-brown skin and facial features strikingly similar to their own. This artistic choice fueled the belief that Somalis and Egyptians shared a direct ancestral bloodline. However, modern science has finally allowed us to move beyond iconography to test these old theories. Between 2020 and 2025, a wave of groundbreaking studies fundamentally transformed our understanding of this ancient connection. Scientists moved beyond looking at pictures to analyzing the very building blocks of life. By examining the DNA of humans and the chemical signatures of mummified animals, we can now separate historical fact from romantic legend. This new evidence helps us answer whether the Egyptians actually migrated from this southern land. The first major breakthrough regarding the location of Punt came from an unlikely source, mummified baboons. Ancient Egyptians revered these animals as sacred embodiments of Toth, yet they were not native to Egypt and had to be imported. In 2020, researchers analyzed chemical isotopes in the teeth of these mummified primates to find out exactly where they were born, using their enamel as a geographic map. The results of the isotope analysis were definitive and geographically precise. The chemical signatures matched the soil and water of the Horn of Africa, specifically the regions spanning modern Eritrea, eastern Ethiopia, and Somalia. This provided the first hard geochemical evidence that the trade network definitely extended into the Somali Peninsula. It proved that the legendary land of Punt was a real, tangible place on the map. Science did not stop at chemical isotopes, pushing further into the genetic code itself. In 2023, geneticists successfully extracted mitochondrial DNA from a sacred baboon mummy to trace its lineage. This genetic data pointed directly to coastal Eritrea, near the ancient port of Autolus. This confirmed that the Egyptians were seafaring masters who maintained a sustained biological supply chain with the distinct ecosystem of the Horn of Africa. With the geographic location of Punt confirmed, the spotlight turned to the human element. Did the Egyptians come from this southern land? For years, we lacked DNA from the time of the pyramids. The hot desert climate destroys genetic material, leaving us with a significant blind spot regarding the Old Kingdom population. That changed in 2025 with the sequencing of an individual from New Wairat. The 2025 study provided the first complete whole genome of a man who lived during the early Pyramid Age. The results were unexpected and challenged the Somali origin theory directly. This individual did not possess the distinct genetic markers associated with the Cushitic-speaking peoples of the Horn of Africa. Instead, his genomic profile told a different story of migration and population mixing. The analysis revealed that this ancient Egyptian was primarily of local North African descent, sharing deep roots with populations in the Sahara. However, the remaining portion of his DNA pointed to the Middle East. He carried significant genetic heritage from the Fertile Crescent and Mesopotamia. 
This mix suggests that the primary flow of people into Egypt came from the north and east, not the south. This biological evidence effectively dismantles the idea of a mass migration from Somalia to Egypt during the Pharaonic period. If the Egyptians had originated in Punt, we would see a strong genetic link to the Ethio-Somali populations in the Old Kingdom. That link simply isn't there in the data. The genetic distance indicates two distinct populations evolving separately for thousands of years. However, this genomic separation does not mean there is no connection at all. Egyptians and Somalis are not strangers, they are distant siblings. Linguists and anthropologists believe both groups descend from a much older population that lived in the Green Sahara over 10,000 years ago. As the climate dried, this ancestral group split, sending one branch north to the Nile and another south to the Horn. This shared ancestral population explains the striking cultural similarities that often confuse observers today. The shared linguistic roots, the practice of circumcision, and the specific cattle cultures found in both regions are likely retentions from this deep prehistoric past. They are family heirlooms preserved by both branches of the family tree, rather than proof that one group gave birth to the other in recent history. So why did the Egyptians call Punt the land of the gods? The answer likely lies in their solar theology. The Egyptians worshipped the sun god Ra, and Punt lay to the southeast, in the direction of the sunrise. Traveling to Punt meant traveling toward the divine source of light and rebirth. It was a sacred orientation that made the land holy. Furthermore, Punt was the exclusive source of frankincense and myrrh. These resins were essential for temple rituals. Their smoke was believed to carry prayers to the heavens. A land that produced the food of the gods was naturally viewed as sanctified. The trade was spiritual as much as it was economic, linking the survival of the Egyptian state to the harvest of the horn. In summary, the new evidence provides a nuanced answer to the ancient riddle. Geographically, the Somali hypothesis is correct. The land of Punt was indeed located in the Horn of Africa. The chemical isotopes and DNA of mummified baboons have solved that century-old puzzle, placing the legendary ports along the Eritrean and Somali coasts. We can confidently say the Egyptians were sailing to these shores. Biologically, however, the hypothesis does not hold up under scrutiny. The ancient Egyptians were not Somali migrants. The DNA from the Pyramid Age shows a population rooted in North Africa and the Near East. The people of the Nile and the people of the Horn were distinct populations by the time history began, having evolved along different paths for millennia before re-establishing contact. Ultimately, the connection between ancient Egypt and Somalia is one of ancient kinship, not direct descent. They are two distinct civilizations that blossomed from a shared Afro-Asiatic root in the deep past. The land of the gods remains a testament to a profound biological and cultural bond that survived the ages, a relationship of shared heritage that is far more complex than a simple migration.